In this video, we will be looking at glossaries in Moodle 2.0. Glossaries in Moodle are very flexible. Firstly, they can be used to provide reference or supplementary information which is automatically linked by keywords within the main text of your course. Secondly, glossaries can be used for group assignments, for example, collaboratively building a resource. Finally, the random glossary block can be used to display entries in an interesting and dynamic way. In your course, make sure you have turned editing on, either by clicking the button in the top right, or by clicking Turn Editing On in the Settings block under Course Administration. Under the Add an Activity drop-down menu of one of the topic boxes down the middle, choose Glossary. Add a descriptive name for your glossary. Write a description for your glossary. If this is to be a collaborative activity, this is where you would write the instructions or guidelines. You can set how many entries are shown per page by default. You can have one main glossary per course. The main glossary can only be added to by the teacher. However, you can have as many secondary glossaries as you like. All secondary glossaries can be added to by the students. Choose whether you allow duplicated entries. Students can be allowed to comment on entries in the glossary. This can encourage them to expand and improve upon other people's definitions. If print view is enabled, students are provided with a link to a printer-friendly version of the glossary. This link is always available to teachers. If site-wide glossary auto-linking has been enabled by an administrator and this setting is enabled, the Add a New Entry form includes an option to automatically link the entry wherever the concept word or phrases appear throughout the rest of the course. If approved by default is set to No, entries require approving by a teacher before they are viewable by everyone. There are seven display formats. Simple dictionary style, no authors are displayed and attachments are shown as links. Continuous without author, entries are displayed one after another without any separation apart from the editing icons. Full with author, a forum-like display format showing the author's data and with attachments shown as links. Full without author, a forum-like display format without authors and with attachments shown as links. Encyclopedia, the same as full with author, but attached images are shown in line. Entry list, concepts are listed as links. And FAQ, the words question and answer are appended to the concept and definition respectively. If Show Special Link is enabled, participants can browse the glossary by special characters such as at and hash. If Show Alphabet is enabled, participants can browse the glossary by letters of the alphabet. If Show All is enabled, participants can browse all entries at once. This setting specifies whether entries are always editable or whether students can only edit their entries during the configured editing time, usually 30 minutes. If RSS is enabled for glossaries by the site administrator, you may have some RSS settings. You can choose whether entries can be rated. If you enable ratings, in another section, you can further specify whether students or just teachers can rate entries. Choose how they are rated and whether there is a time period restriction to the rating. Click Save and Return to Course to save your settings and create your glossary. The following are some examples of different glossary display formats.